Hello from your Quinnahead Outstanding Natural Area. I'm Ranger Miranda, and today I'm going to lead you through the life of a very cool animal found here on the coast. Some might describe them as feisty, maybe even crabby, but when you live in a harsh environment like the tide pools, sometimes you have to hide your soft interior within a tough exterior. Animals in the intertidal zone are constantly exposed to extreme conditions and as such have developed special adaptations to survive. One such animal is, you guessed it, crabs. Say hello to our special guest, Jerry. We'll follow him through his daily routine to see how he's adapted to survive the dangerous world of the rocky intertidal. Ready to see some crab adaptations? Let's jump in. While living in the tide pools, there are many dangers Jerry must contend with, one being predators. Crabs have numerous predators, from seabirds, otters, octopuses, and more, which is why they have a protective exoskeleton to keep them safe. This exoskeleton has chinks in it to allow easy movement at the joints while still providing a defensive exterior, just like a suit of armor, making Jerry a formidable opponent. Now that he's successfully avoided being eaten, Jerry is ready to find his own food. Crabs are voracious consumers and will eat just about anything, including mussels, algae, fish, and even smaller crabs. But how does he find his food? Why, with his great sense of smell, of course. Crabs have chemoreceptors located on their antenna that enable them to detect chemicals in the water released by their prey. These, along with hairs on his mouth, claws, and feet that can taste the water will lead Jerry right to his dinner. Once in hand, Jerry will use his specialized claws called chelipeds to crush or pry open his food. What a tasty snack. I'm down at Cobble Beach, named for the unique rounded cobbles that make up the shoreline, where I expect to find one of the more commonly found crabs here at Yaquina Head a shore crab. Those shore crabs can be spotted within the tide pools. Another easy place to find them is right beneath our feet. Shore crabs hide beneath the rocks to protect themselves from predators. They're specially adapted to survive on land by storing water in sealed chambers they use to keep their gills moist. The next time you're at a rocky beach, make sure to watch your step. You never know what you'll find. <laughs> there you are, Jerry! Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video.